<sighs> Hello, family of life. I have direct sun shining on me and I was sitting in the shade earlier recording a video for my one-on-one -on -one clients. Uh, very, oh my god, very powerful. Um, and I was being eaten by box, so I decided I will record a video here, live, right now, uh, for you and with you. Um, exposed to the sun, Trish, hello, 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 hello. If you are watching this live or on repeat, please let me know in the comments. If this content has any value at all for you in your life, please be sure to like it, comment, share with others on your platforms or in other groups as the positive, powerful, loving message has to be spread. So allow yourself to be the channel of that love, the channel through which the love can flow through and work its way through it. Um, and if you are entirely new over here watching my content, huge, big, loving welcome to you. If this is the beginning of your journey soon, uh, allow yourself to watch the meditations in Southern Hearts group. Allow yourself to scroll down and watch other videos. Soak it up that high frequency that I am here to share with you from my open heart. And I wanted to share with you what has been happening with me. Uh, as many of us are experiencing now huge energies and huge reactions or responses or no responses to this huge energy, uh, we all cannot deny by feel something huge. Uh, some of us are um, doing amazingly with it in whichever way that looks or sounds or feel we are doing amazingly. Some other of us don't do at all, and th there is nothing wrong with that. It just brings different results. And I myself, last week, went through a massive, massive quantum jump in a now moment, permanently, into a different version of myself. This is so huge and profound that I have to, I just have to share it. And when I say it, you probably feel because the energy is so fresh and it is so huge. It is of such a high frequency that when I share it, I have shivers all over everywhere and I'm sitting in a scorching sun. Trish, thank you. I love you, my sister. You, you bring so much love to the planet. Thank you so much. So are you. So are you, Trish. Sherry says, hi, lovely. Hello, beautiful. Hello, Trish. Hello, Sherry. Hello, Shelba. Hello, Sharon. And hello, whoever else is watching right now. Uh, so I wanted to share with you from my heart because the huge message I received last week in the middle of the week, quite few times. And what do I mean by receiving Dolan and message? Jenna, hello. I mean receiving such a download of information with my eyes open or closed. For me, it's usually now with eyes open, realizing that I received that download in my meditation or in between my meditations. And it took me time to unpack it and feel it, become present and be able to absorb it, feel it, see it and read it. So. The download of information was so strong, yet very gentle and loving, saying that it, the message is for the whole world, but I'm gonna take it for myself. I'm no judge to tell anyone what to do, but I'm going to share it. The message is don't share if it doesn't come from the depth of your heart, if it doesn't come from your knowing, your experience, from your loving frequency of joy what's contained in that message is do not share a story or a message that you didn't heal yet if it is 
trapped in some victimhood or it's passing on trauma to others, don't share it. Don't share it with the whole wide collective. Um, and there was a time, oh, within some, sometime within the last three, four years when I realized that I've, my journey is very, please let me know if you get me. Please let me know if you get that message. Please take few deep loving breaths, listen, listen with your heart. I didn't receive that message because I was doing something wrong. I don't share that message because any one of you or us, us is doing anything wrong. The message is about expanding. These messages are not about scolding and criticizing and judging. That's, an, that's ages ago. That's 3D world. That's ages, ages gone behind us. Those messages are about expansion from where we are. No longer needing to dive and crash on our knees, unable to learn something or expand. So that message came for myself and all of us to share more from the depth of our hearts. But that doesn't mean that we need to share our brokenness, that we need to share whatever is flowing through our heads and it all. Thought is just a thought, it's a thought form, it's a flowing energy that it is in association with the energy we are in at this moment, the next breath. You can be in an entirely different frequency, experiencing entirely different thoughts. And again, we might believe we are them or we might just simply observe them and write them or use them to create the reality we desire in this now moment, in this chapter of our journey. And that beautiful message of sharing from heart took me on my own journey into a moment where I, at the morning I allowed myself to lay down in my own old emotional meaning huge energy is coming there is a trigger energy comes up and I allow myself to create at least a little bit of gap and space between me and that thought, emotion, or frequency. And this is what have enabled me to see from in that moment, I seen it from like five different angles in the same time. The key is to stay in your body, watch it beat, right? The key is to allow that thought emotion to take you somewhere and see the illusion. And that's exactly what happened. I was able to see that really old frequency still living within me because so far since the teenage years didn't had an opportunity to come up yet from the depth and now it had. And instead of me believing I am it or making myself a fully and entirely victim of it, and allowing the victim could take me on a different path that my intention was this day, I allowed myself to watch it and, 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 and simply sit in my own. Um, doesn't feel comfortable, but it is so rewarding. The strength that I came out with after was I already feel my my third center on fire it's a it's a massive solar plexus healing for me the last few weeks without trying pulling just observing just observing and allowing myself to go deeper which it means being more honest with myself which it means seeing even more within me what is it within me that I create outside of me that it is eh, not what I would like to maybe see or, or, or have or experience. So it's going deeper. It's a deeper level of owning, <laughs> owning my own. And 
taking such a deep, big responsibility for the reality I am living in and creating and manifesting, whether it feels good and amazing and phenomenal or not. And the strength that I came out with was unshakable, was so unshakable that it shook the whole foundation of that ego shell between future Eliza, past Eliza, which is now, now, now Eliza, because I stepped into that and that past Eliza from a week ago or two weeks ago. This is such an important message, guys. And I'm taking my time to share with you without even seeing much because the sun is reflecting on my face to share it with you to allow that divine highest frequency flow through me so allow yourself as well to, to to patiently listen with your heart if you feel called and attracted to that high empowered frequency of freedom and love and the, 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 the empowerment that I stepped into, the, I, I, the, this power is just unshakable. It's like God steps into you or God steps from the depth and it is you. It's meaning you don't have to go and shout from the rooftops, I'm empowered, I'm amazing, I'm free. You are just it. You just walk with it. You slower. You own your space within me all around me. I just own it. I no longer apologize for my existence or the desire to expand and grow and, and, and own this magnificent journey. I just love it. And I, I, I just the love that comes out is, my God, how could I exist so far without this? level of love towards me and this journey and you and us what we create so far and the truth is i did experience it but this level is a whole new level and on this level i'm not allowing myself to listen to the old mind that tells me that if someone says this and that it's okay for me to listen or I should listen or, or I should do anything about it. It's, it's a whole different frequency. And I want to share with you what happened after that. So I've been fantasizing and romancing and flirting a lot since, I think it must be November, maybe even October, with the idea of hiring a personal one-on-one -on -one coach for the amount of money I never did so far. But the money I am talking about is paying this person monthly similar money that I was working on a whole month. 40 hours per week through the whole month in my last nine to five high position nine and a half years i was working to get this money in that workplace in a big pharma corporation high position where i created whole department where i was instructing people from all over the world how to do their job, how to create that all in the system so all of those points can flow together. So all of those different sections of this chain can meet together and flow without disturption. So those people who are dying from cancer can have their sample processed flowingly without issues, without disturption along the way because the process is not, because the process would allow too much issue. So I stepped into that frequency of knowing this is it. This is it, this is my time. I'm going to allow myself to invest in myself 
with this person not into that person not into that person into me with her help one-on-one -on -one. help because I'm worthy not because I want to get out of it this amount of money or double the money or triple the money no no I'll be learning about money because this is the last thing that I did in my healing and evolution and an expanding process I would deal with my mind with my soul with my emotions with my feelings with my body at the end nearly at the end and then money so that was the last thing learning how to own my time energy and money which is all the same not to get it out of it but just simply because I am at the stage where I know I am so deeply worthy my frequency is finally matching the level of oh my god now I can receive that message I am worthy but now I have the most important message for you guys that window window of frequency opportunity to which I stepped into lasted how long two days four days I don't know exactly so I signed up with I was I knew I'm gonna sign up Tuesday or Wednesday even two weeks ago I said to Andrea I am signing up with her and I was I just don't know when and I was waiting for it wasn't even waiting it was ripening. it was a ripening process it was a ripening process they are stages when you rush into they are stages that you chase into they are stages that you fall into they are stages when you lie on the shelf and you allow yourself to ripe to the stage where you are sweet where you are juicy and it's crunchy at the same time <laughs> And that window of opportunity lasted only a few days. Lasted only a few days. I signed up with that person on Friday night. Friday night. And on Saturday morning, I was feeling... Am I staying in that energy or not? Now, a high, extremely high frequency. Extremely unshakable frequency. Unshakable frequency. Me jumping in a frequency or now, that's a different story. Okay? Now, Saturday morning, I didn't fully feel that frequency. Why? Because my mind was telling me I'm no longer there. Am I still there? You bet it. Why am I convinced that I'm still there? Because that person holds that frequency with me and for me. Together. So when my mind tells me I'm not in that frequency, even if I am, and you can feel it, and hear it in this video I always have now that reminder that person holds that frequency with me and I love myself so much that I did it can you believe it? I did it I did it I signed up I'm paying that person per month what a year ago I was earning through 9 to 5 through all of these stages of, uh, of promotion and, and bosses managers changing after man oh my goodness this is unbelievable and I'm living my reality I'm owning my birthright to take my story farther and farther and touch on thousands of people not just per month per week why because our stories are huge our stories are absolutely groundbreaking they are ego breaking they are fear breaking they are lack and pain breaking true piercing through and they have to be told and they have to be told every single day that's why these messages have to spread they have to be told on and on and on with higher and higher higher frequency starting from here and now owning our birthright to feel worthy, to live in abundance, in freedom, in love, in passion, and in joy, and in sunshine, and in nature, in nature, no longer bound by concrete and air conditioning 24-7. That was my thing. 
and I feel extremely happy that I can share that with you from the bottom of my heart because I want you to know that just a few years ago I was powerless there was no power within me seven years ago I was dying on the floor of my own kitchen that was not the first time that was not the first time that was the last time I did it and I was so humiliated and beaten into humility to allow myself to stand up from the floor on my knees and say out loud I messed up I've got this all wrong I don't know how to manage my own life I need help and I had to abandon everything that my mind was telling me and listen to someone else someone I didn't know who they are even a stranger because they overcame their own and shared with me how I can do that as well if you're just joining right now be sure to watch this from the beginning and this is the most empowered message I have ever shared so far in a public way Andrea is here you want to come and say hello Andrea did today something so phenomenal this is crazy Andrea did a workshop that around 500 people will be watching within the first week and soaking up this high loving kind frequency and just finished a um, high level of support another Hello. workshop on the same day <laughs> right yep we how just... amazing is that yes yeah we, we uh we're going all in we're going all in yeah I was just sharing how our message has to be spread, has to be told. Us, all of us, all we overcame, all we heal from, all we expand from, all the things we used to do is impossible, now we do them, we are them. All of that has to be told over and over and over again with any shape and form you want. You can repeat the same story the same way, it doesn't matter we are doing something that we thought it's impossible we used to thought that if you have pain you will be with this pain all your life maybe you will learn to let it go maybe not now we are living so entirely free we are flying high and that's what i'm talking about i shared with them that um uh, that i signed up with a coach and i'm paying her per month what i used to earn in my nine to five that i work in nine and a half years to get to that money to the series of promotions creating a whole department medical department stuff like that i was just sharing like how what is the frequency i stepped into um, and i'll be sharing about it i've been called as well thank you so much for joining us mm -hmm. thank you thank you thank you for having me uh, thank you for joining Hi, us yeah. yeah, Jenna, Tammy. Yeah, we have amazing yes. crowd Great today. To see you. Thank you, Andrea. I'll see you in a few minutes. Uh, what do we have here? Sherry says, oh, yes, I get it. For a while I had the thought that maybe I'm sharing to get attention in some way. There you go. So I stopped sharing for a while until I was sure it was so encouraged. It was to encourage others and nothing else. There you go. Uh, and thank you for sharing that because our mind will be kicking in and saying us why to not share and there are moments as well when we are sharing I did share in the past to get love and attention and, and self-pity and that was something I can learn from and others can learn from it as well and, and taking time to to realize okay where am I on my journey right now what am I sharing today why am I sharing today thank you so much for sharing that Sherry Sandra says hi a beautiful souls hi gorgeous hi and we have oh Alice hi hello Kat wow so nice to have you here yes I hear you Eliza that's Trish more positive energy brings positive thoughts and pure reality now Sherry says you are so much love so are you hi Maria Angelica hi Emma who else we have here Tammy hello Tammy 
Uh, I have been uh, in a high vibration energy since I invested in an amazing spiritual mentor. My energy has changed forever. Thank you. Yes, that's amazing, Trish. Thank you for sharing. Jenna says, I am so happy. Let me scroll it down. I am so happy for you. Thank you. Investing in myself and in my healing through working with you. Mwah! Thank you so much. Has been life changing and so amazing. I love you. I love you too, Jenna. And, and I love that you are investing into your ever growth with my help. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for using my help so you can expand, so you can overcome fear, past, pain and tap into your magnificence which you already did and we it's not even third month finished you know of us working together and you already tapped into that extremely healed empowering frequency nicole hello tammy says hi uh, jenna says hi andrea <laughs> we have so many comments lordy lord I am on the floor at the moment. I feel it. Tammy, I'm sending you so much love. Allow yourself to don't stay in that space for longer than is it needed. Feel it fully and entirely in your body. Don't be it. So do not allow yourself to be to be to be soaked up by it. Feel it fully entirely, but don't be it. Remembering you are more than a current thought or emotion. You are the spark of divine. You are the space in which all of that appears and disappears. And if you need a one-on-one -on -one help, hire someone who will help you go through it, who will help you expand, who will hold your healed frequency with you and for you, especially in the times when you are at the floor. There will hold in their mind you standing up tall in your crown owning your goddess magnificence or, or, or queen magnificence or, or king magnificence whatever you prefer allow yourself to ask for help and receive help that's what's life changing that's what's life changing and we always will be going into some kind of mode of reaction the question is how long do we stay there how long can we self regulate or learn from someone how to do it I feel my shine, it's sure to come, but I am on the floor at the moment. I get you, Tammy. Sending you love, joy! <sighs> Nicole, love you, Elisa Mozal, and all of you. Love you too, Nicole, so much. Lena says people see the goodness when they are open to feel you. Exactly, exactly. We don't see what is there, we see who we are. We see what we are being. Yeah, I know you don't want to be there. I know, but allow yourself to feel it fully. You cannot just run away through it. You have to feel it fully through it. That's why the support, one-on-one -on -one help support is so extremely helpful and profound. Without one-on-one -on -one help that I have been receiving so far in the last seven years, there's no way I would be who I am. I would still be probably in my absolute lowest if I still would be on this earth, in this body. And I'm not saying that lightly. And we have, uh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you as well. Thank you for being here and watching this. Um, wow. Yeah, that was a profound, extremely profound video. Allow yourself to watch it a few times and share that message with others in other groups. Allow them to see this content. I can, I can, I can have only 5,000 people on my Facebook who can see notifications. And in the groups, more people can see it instead of the message of disempowerment. Allow yourself to notice in the slightest shape and form your own power and magnificence. Because just a few years ago, I was living in an active depression, alcoholism, addicted to guilt and shame, extremely unworthy, believing I'm the ugliest of the ugliest, inside and out. I was riddled with guilt and shame. I was unable to live the life that it has nothing to do with fear, lack and limitation. I was somewhere else. And even four years ago, uh, before I dove much deeper 
into this journey, it was still the waves of the lowest that I was trapped in until I dove really deep into Dr. Joe Dispenza's work, 12-step program even deeper, and meditating. The call I myself received personally was meditate three, four hours a day, every day. No excuses, no ifs, no buts, period. If you wanna go and feel this freedom, if you wanna manifest that freedom lifestyle, get rid of the uh, uh, everything that doesn't feel like freedom, you got to go deeper and that was my call and I followed that guidance and only magnificent happened when I surrendered what I knew until this moment because I told if I will do this and that and save up pennies and all of it and, and do more overtime and least eat uh, cheaper food more potatoes that's how I'm gonna get myself out of nine to five out of living in Scotland cold and wet out of living on my own, you know, trapped in a mortgage set up for the people and, and the debts, huge massive debts and, and feeling not good enough to receive even. But that wasn't the way. The way for me was to surrender it all and, and fully be in love with the life I want to have before it was manifested. To live actively in an energetic and emotional state of I'm already in love with life. I'm already the most magnificent person I ever seeked for and wanted to meet in my life. But you can hear about it in other of my videos. There is lots and lots and lots of them. So allow yourself to go scroll through my Facebook Ariza Mozal and go video after video after video after video. Allow yourself to soak up that high frequency and invest into yourself. I'll be creating definitely quantum dive, huge massive quantum dive, where I will share all of my story. I don't know if that's gonna happen in April or May. I'm gonna seek for the guidance. I'm gonna meditate more on it. I'm gonna just allow myself to receive the message in divine timing. But I'll be making a huge, massive quantum dive. It's gonna be a, it's not gonna be just few hours. It, it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge because what I'll be sharing is life changing and huge. And it will be only for those who are all in, who are all in, who wants to hear the whole story of creation from nothing and broken into what you feel and see right now. If you are interested, uh, please comment below. I have at the moment only one spot left for one-on-one -on -one work with me. If you desire to ask for help and receive the help, if you are at the place where it feels right for you, you know what, I am, I am really worthy. I am so worthy to invest into myself doesn't matter what and I am worthy to receive that help and do everything that it is suggested um, this is this is your spot send me a private message so we can see if we are a match to do this work because that I, I cannot work with anyone or everyone I only work with those that I'm guided divinely guided to work with and it's usually three to six months because that's where is the guarantee of embedded results Thank you for being here, Robert, Bobby, Annie, Lisa, so many more. Sending you all so much love. Thank you for being you. Thank you for allowing yourself to feel what you are processing and releasing. Thank you for creating magnificent love and light frequency in this world by being you, watching this content, sharing this content, doing that inner work. Thank you so much, Tammy. I appreciate you and I love you. Sending you all so much love. And on Friday, this Friday, I'm doing a group meditation. It's a free entry. Once per week, sometimes once per two weeks. This time is on Friday. If you want to join, send me a private message. Then send me a private, uh, send me a friend request. Then a private message that you would like to join Family of Light messenger chat because this is where i post zoom link to that meditation one hour gathering with extremely high frequency and the most amazing people 
Thank you. I love you.